Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and this is Learn Roblox. It's um, all the tutorials inside the Roblox world. Uh, if you go out to wiki.roblox.com, you can follow along with all of these. They are out there for you to love and to have and to hold and to just basically read through. Um, one of the reasons that I'm doing these videos is because I don't like reading, and I really wish somebody had done this for me whenever I had started programming as well. So, um, we are still inside the Roblox basics right here. So, uh, the first thing, or the, not the first thing, the next step is surface decals and intro to terrain. I'm going to try and zip through this one in less than five minutes. If I can, then I'm going to switch over and do the intro to terrain as well. So you should get two tutorials in one video tonight. Uh, let's get started. Oh, wait, you couldn't even see that, could you? Oh, yeah, you could. There we go. All right. So if you want to follow along, you can. If not, here we go. Surface decals, making a painting. This tutorial uh, will... Uh, in this tutorial, we will use decals to add paintings to our game. Start by making a frame for your painting. You can make thin parts and then change the increments in studio to one-fifth studs. All right, so without further ado, let's go. Let's do this. All right, so let's just make a part right, right quick. I want it to be a red frame. Actually, no, I want it to be brown. Like this color right here. No, no. Maybe. And then uh, a wood back. So let's do a no part. Head over to model part. Boom, just like that. And let's go ahead and anchor it before we even get started. Anchored. Boom. Or you could hit the anchor button up here. Just like that. And let's go here. I'm going to do scale. Scale this out just a little bit like that. Not a problem. And we're going to put this down to one fifth. Move the studs to one fifth. I don't know what that is. One fifth. 0 0.225. 0 0.225. That doesn't sound right. 0 0.025. Okay, a way we can figure this out is script. So um, let's do command. Um, let's do one divided by. Oh, oh sorry, sorry. Print. 1 divided by 5. 0.2. Ah, there we go. So, 0.2. I should have been able to do that in my head, but I didn't. That's fine. There we go. So there's a nice back for our frame. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate that. Control D to duplicate. And then I'm going to move this boink like that. Maybe one more. Perfect. And this one like that. I'm going to change its color to like this reddish color. That's good. I'm going to change over to the move, control D, and I'm going to move this over to here. Like that. Uh-oh. What have we done? What have you done, code? I don't know. Hold shift to move in slowly. There we go. Okay, cool. And then we're going to grab the same one, control D to duplicate, change its color to red, change the scale, and I'm going to go one, two, pull this down like this. Good. Now is that actually, is that even attached? That's attached. There we go. Oh gosh. And the song you're currently hearing is by Kevin MacLeod. Amazing artist. And I'm actually going to pop this out just a little bit. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to take this one, change over to move. I'm going to go control D. Gonna move it right there. Perfect. All right. So now we have a frame. Uh, it's not quite the same colors. You know what? Doesn't really matter. But uh, let's do cherry wood flavor, like that. And then this one is like a darker, darker brown color. Oh gosh. Whoops. Control Z. Undo that. This one in here in the middle. It looks closer. It's not quite the same colors, but it'll work. Uh, next, publish your game to make it much easier to add an image to the published game uh, and then an unpublished one. Uh, well, this one's already published, so file, publish again, just in case. Um, now we will add a decal to hold an image to our painting. I think this is an older tutorial, by the way, because it used the one-fifth studs instead of the, like, 0.02. Right-click on the back panel of your frame, like that. 
click over the insert decal, insert object decal, and then we're going to click on the face of the frame, just like that. Open the Explorer pane uh, and Explorer and Properties windows. Those are over here on the left hand or right hand side. Find the decal uh, that was just inserted and make sure that it is selected. That's done. In the Properties window, click uh, click to the right of the texture property and then click Add Image from the menu options. So let's click right here, Texture, and scroll down, Add Image. Now, I don't know if this is actually going to show up or not, but do you guys, uh, hold on, let me go look, see if you guys see this at all. All right, you're not seeing the pop-up window because it's part of a different window. It's like its own separate window. Uh, so I do apologize, you're not gonna be able to see that portion, but just know that I'm choosing file and I'm just gonna select a file here. Let's see here. Let's use yesterday's decal. Why not? There we go. And I'm going to click on create. Sorry, yesterday's thumbnail is what we're using. Oh my goodness, look at that. Amazing. Oh, nice. Uh, this will open up a window where you can select the image locally from your computer. Click the choose file from the image of your hard drive. Um, basically inside your documents, my pictures, something like that, or if you've got it downloaded somewhere, check your downloads folders, wherever it is in your local C drive, you can upload it here. When you have selected a file that you want, click the create button and in a few seconds your image should appear in the decals. Uh, and now we have a beautiful painting of our game. Keep in mind that you can use decals to insert all kinds of images. They don't have to be paintings. There is good ch a good chance the image will appear on the different on a different face from the frame that you indicated. If you follow the above steps, the, Im the image does not appear. Select the decal from the explorer, and an orange box will appear in the 3D view. We already did that. That's what the the clicking of the face was. This box will show which face the decal is currently attached to. Notice uh, how if you uh, notice how if we look at the 3D view, the image is indeed there, compressed, but uh, to try and fit to the small face. <coughs> A simple fix is to change the face of the decal, change the face that the decal is attached to. With the decal selected in the Explorer window, look at the face property in the property window. By default, the decal should be on the front face, which it was, but we changed it. So um, let's see. Click here, click the decal, and then you can see um, the faces right here. Top, left, back, down, right, up. There you go. And that's how to produce a painting. Now, because these are um, five different parts, I'm gonna control G to make it into one model. I'm gonna right click, rename this, and we're gonna call it painting. Well, it's not really a painting, but it works like a painting. Let's just rotate this up like that. I'm gonna turn it. No, 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 control Z, control Z. Like that, actually, no, that's perfect. Because I want it on the wall in there. Let's take our painting inside. Uh-oh, control Z. What happened there? Oh, control Z again. Oh, gosh, what's... What's it doing, precious? Um... All right, let's just move it in. We'll just move it by the, the numbers. Oh, collisions. Ah, there we go. Oh, no, just grab it now. You should be able to grab it. Oh, what in the world? Okay, I am gonna have to adjust it a little bit, but that's fine. Let's move it to the wall, like that, good. Here's our door that we've done. Oh, by the way, there were some live streams where I was doing live coding. Oh, and if you do come into this world, into my uh, Code Primate Labs, don't touch this button. Don't touch. Seriously. Don't touch it. I know you're going to go log in and touch it now, but I'm telling you, don't touch that button. <laughs> it's like saying, don't think of a black cat. Oh, what did you just do? You thought of a black cat. Psychology. Perfect. Okay, there's that. Turn slightly. And on the wall. Perfect. I love it. Okay, how far into the video are we? 
Oh my goodness, that was exactly 10 minutes. So that's going to be its own video all by itself. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Learn Roblox with me, Heath Haskins Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end like a good YouTuber. And we will see you in the next video. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. We'll talk to you soon. Outro. Thank you.